take a look at this truck here, Let's see what it's about. You cannot stop me, I'ma make it to the top spot seat Call a covenant, not cocky, you cannot break me This world's mine for the taking, got a niche man I'm making Oh, I'll keep my head down and grind and be patient I'll take a stab at the top and the sailing They can all try but you cannot contain it Cause I see the things that I want and I take on my goal Push myself to the brink, no limit Do what it takes to be free, committed I'm a little obsessed with things, I'll admit it But that's what it takes to get a freedom ticket Got a killer instinct and it's just the beginning Breaking down walls and the hurt start thinning And the more you push you the fast start trimming Till you're the only one standing up straight winning all No, we never sit still it's time to stand up, time to take the red pill To make this all well, gonna die on this hill Be ready to fight, be ready to kill We never give up, no we never sit still It's time to stand up, time to take the red pill To make this all well, gonna die on this hill Be ready to fight, and be ready to kill Enjoy it? Yes, I will. The fan favorite truck, Nasty yes. Red. Yes. Loudonville, Ohio. Loudonville bound. I can't yeah. believe it. I can't believe it. It was one of those trucks that I thought, we're never going to give this truck away. Right. And then I'm like, I'm going to give this truck away. Yeah. I told him, I said, if you ever get even the thought of selling this thing, this is one that it's like, I said, if you ever want to sell it, for whatever reason, he said that's not in his radar. I would love to buy it back. And Priority I think, call. I think you guys would love to see it back at some point. Yeah. But if that can't happen, yeah. which I'm hoping it doesn't, I'm hoping no. you want to keep I it. I want to keep it. But we might get to see it. Maybe we'll stop by sometime when we move Anytime. out your way. Anytime. Stop by and at least get an update yeah. on it. Anytime. Check on it. Sure. Go for a little drive. Yeah. Just to Reminence. reminisce a little bit. Maybe going through day. the hills yeah. and uh, yeah. enjoy the truck. I will. I think you're going to. Yeah. And tell your son I said hello. I am sure Hello, will. what's his name? Brady. Hello, Brady. Enjoy the truck. Enjoy the t-shirt. Enjoy the hat. Absolutely. I'm trying to hold back the tears right Tears, now. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not really, but but no, I am going to miss the truck. So yes, yes. Enjoy it, man. It's a beautiful truck. Oh, I think it looks better right there than it ever has too. Yeah, it's because it's leaving and we're not the ones in it. Yeah. Suck. He's gonna enjoy it though. He was so freaking stoked driving that thing. Well, we had to swing by and pick up another second gen here, but not just any second gen. The second gen he won in January of 2021. The nasty red flatbed is back yes people are going to be wondering why was i the first call why didn't you just list it let people bid it up a little bit you know what was the reason because i promised you the priority call he's a man of his word you know how many trucks we've had go that were like really nice trucks this one was the one of all i'm like yeah. if it gets sold i want to have this truck back just because of the long history with it Pretty, almost nobody has ever called us back about a truck. They've been right. sold, they, yeah. you know, they traded them off or whatever. Nobody's ever actually called us back. He's the only one. He gives me a message out of the blue. He said, I'm thinking about selling the truck. You're the first person I want to run it by. It didn't take me long and I'm thinking, <laughs> I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> we'll yeah. be back. That's awesome. Dude. Yeah. It's great. Thank you so much. Yeah. Left hand handshake. Yeah. 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 Seems a little <laughs> off for me, it's but okay. it works for the yeah. video. That is working. Well guys, you're about to see Nasty Red take a completely new look. We are back in the Nasty Red. We got the plow. We got the original stickers we sold way back. The gauges. I mean, really nothing's changed other than the mirrors cracked. And uh, more of the clear coat's gone than it was before, which 
is a topic we're going to be getting into very shortly here with this truck. And I think you guys are going to be pretty freaking stoked with the reveal you'll be seeing very shortly on the complete transformation of this truck. Well, we are back from our two-week trip. Yes, we took a two-week trip, traveled, saw, I think, 12. I think we went through 12 different states, stayed and visited in five different states, I believe. Tennessee, Florida, Mississippi, Texas, and Oklahoma. And uh, had an awesome, awesome time. I don't know why I'm filming the CRV here. That's not the main, it's not the main thing here. That is over there. Nasty Red is back. And although I wish I was saying that I bought it back to keep it forever, that is not the situation. However, we do have a very exciting new look for this truck. And quick little backstory on how I ended up with this thing again. As I showed you in the beginning of the video here, Roger Smith from Loudonville, Ohio, he gave me a call and he uh, left me a message and he said, hey, just thought I'd let you know, I have been thinking about selling the truck because I got a new position, a new job, and I'm gonna be commuting about an hour and a half each direction every day of the week. And as much as I love this truck, it is just not going to make a whole lot of sense to simply highway drive the thing every day and put thousands and thousands and thousands of miles on it. And so he said, I thought I would give you the first call in this decision making and see if you'd be interested in buying the truck. And as much as he loved the truck, which he made it very clear that he loved it. For his current situation that he has coming up here with a new venture, it sounded like, he just feels that it would make more sense to sell the truck to somebody else and let them enjoy it and then replace it with something that would save him a ton of money on fuel just to do a bunch of highway driving. And he said that quite honestly, other than putting about 4,000 miles on it, which most of those were put on it during the first few months he had the truck, he said it's pretty much sat most of the time in the past 14, 15 months since he won it. It just really does not get used much. And so that being said, he gave me a message, I called him back, Hey, I'm interested, let's do it. So we have the nasty here and he did do a little bit of repainting with the plow blade. He scuffed it and sprayed it. Same with the corner pieces of metal down at the bottom. Cause he said that a lot of the paint had flaked off and um, just kind of was getting a lot of surface rust. So he wanted to try to try to refinish it a little bit. We got the plow on there, the mounts and everything thing hooks up like a dream. It's actually really sick and really nothing has changed on this truck other than more of the clear coat has peeled off of the top of the truck apparently because he said that when he had it there wasn't any clear coat peeling but he said after just three or four months sitting out in the driveway he noticed that there was some clear coat flaking off the top and so he uh started to park it indoors a little bit more and then he had a, a friend of his who's a body guy look it over and he said that it's simply doesn't really matter if you leave it inside or outside. It's just the quality of paint and clear that was used on this truck is just not the highest of standard and it's just not gonna hold up. Like it's like a quality paint job would. And we kind of had that feeling from the beginning. We just didn't know how fast that would take effect. And well, it looks like in the past year and a half, give or take, that he has owned the truck. It has really started to peel on the very top of the cab there, as you can see. Um, so we do have some big things we are planning for this truck. I'm not going to go in all the detail of exactly what we're doing with the paint on this thing. You guys can take your comments in the comment section below, but this thing is not going to look the same. Um, you know, it is nasty red, you know, so that's, that's the name and that's kind of the direction we're going to stick with here but the paint is going to be changing on this truck and it is going to be getting a complete transformation. It is not going to look the same whatsoever other than the fact that it's a second gen. So that's gonna be getting changed. The Anthem wheels and the Cooper tires on this thing. I think they're, no, they're Procomp tires, my bad. We like the look of it. It's, it's iconic to the current look of the truck, but we are gonna be changing the entire wheel and tire configuration of this truck and it is not going to be anything like what you see on the truck currently. At least that is the plan for now. We have some things in the works that we think you guys might absolutely love. Some of you might not like it so much, but I think most of you are gonna fall in love with it. 
and it's gonna look pretty freaking sweet. Roger did end up keeping the side rails and slats that I made for this thing out of wood. Uh, I didn't know if he would actually end up using them or not, but he said that it, it came in handy and he actually was able to use that for a lot of usable small projects that he had to do with the truck and uh, it actually came in handy. This thing is getting completely stripped down to bare metal and refinished. The whole thing is getting redone. In terms of the interior, let me show you the inside of this thing. Not really anything changed on the inside. Still same old, same old, only 162,000 miles on it. He actually even filled the truck up for me this morning before I bought it, which is super, super generous of him because you know, full tank of diesel and 32 gallon tanks, not the, not the cheapest thing. You know, there's not too much to say about it in terms of the build, the truck, you know, stuff to learn about it because, you know, you guys, uh, if you want to go back, we have a whole playlist beginning of it, beginning to end of this thing. It's taken a lot of transformation over the time. It's been on the channel. You can see that clear coat starting to come off up there. And man, it was not that bad at it. I mean, I don't remember seeing any clear coat flaking at all. And it's even flaking on the hood now. And when we had this truck, it did not, it did not have any clear coat peeling at all, which is just crazy that in the last 14, 15 months, it's been gone just sitting outside most of that time, just sitting out like that. It's, it's done that. Cause remember most of the time that we owned this truck, when my dad owned it, it pretty much was always stored indoors. It was never set outside. It always sat inside of a barn and yeah, it got some dust that settled on it, but it never sat outside. Uh, so, you know, until I owned it and parked it outside for two or three months before it was given away, it was always parked indoors at both of his farms, actually. It was always parked inside and he never let it sit out. Our weather's just been crazy. It went from like beautiful 75 every day when we left for our trip to like, now it's 41 degrees, spitting snow, a little sleet. It's just, it's just really nasty. But yeah, there is the nasty red. If I get it to focus, there it is. It is back and we have some big plans for that truck. I'm talking like some big, big changes for that truck. And uh, we're already in, I think, between my dad and myself, total investment between the original build of the truck, like purchase of the truck, all the money put in, flatbed, compounds, tires, tent, paying for the original paint job we had done on it, plow, mount, um, exhaust, injectors, delivery valves, governor springs, every, I mean, everything invested into that truck when we gave it away the first time, I think was about $45,000 total. I mean, we had a lot of money into this truck. So, um, we're going to continue the funding of the money pit. I have bought the truck twice. Now my dad bought it once. I bought it twice. I bought it off him and then I bought it off Roger I'm going to <laughs> rebuild the truck again. In terms of the power and the transmission, the thing is, it's a beast. The thing is amazing. I just drove it back 35 minutes. When he originally won this truck, we didn't live in Ohio. And then he bought the truck and then we moved to Ohio just several months later. And now we've been here for one year exactly in just a couple of weeks. And uh, it's just crazy how time flies, but now we actually ended up moving close to where he lived. And so it just, it just worked out great the way that it all happened and cannot be more excited about this thing. Yes, we're going to be giving away the Nasty Red. And when you see this video, the giveaway between Nasty Red and the White Dually, dual entry will be live starting tonight at midnight. And that'll just go until Sunday. So get those dual entries while you can. It's gonna be dual entry for both of those trucks. Now, when you see this video tomorrow that we have going up, you're not gonna recognize Nasty Red pretty much at all. It's gonna look totally different. I mean, a total 180. Everything from the paint, the wheel and tire setup, everything about the truck, you're not, you're not gonna recognize it. It's gonna look absolutely sick. And I'm filming this video two weeks in advance before we do all those changes, because I want you to see back-to-back -back videos, a whole transformation. I know that you know, in the past we would just do like tons of videos and try to milk it all the way up to the, all the way up to the final product. But in this situation, I wanted it to be like 
Here's the reveal of the Nasty Red. And without having to make you wait too long, the next video, boom, Nasty Red 2.0. Crazy, sweet looking transformation. And uh, you guys are gonna hopefully, hopefully, absolutely love it. And it's gonna go from being like the ultimate tow rig to legitimately the ultimate tow rig. I hope you guys see where I'm going with that. Huge changes. Anyways, guys, thanks so much for all the love and all the support. From the time we first got Nasty Red all the way up to now, it's been crazy. It's crazy that it's going into a second giveaway uh, just a little bit over a year apart. We were able to buy it back, rebuild the truck, as you'll see in the next video, and then put it up for grabs again. And yes, I understand there are going to be comments. Why would you buy the truck back and not keep it? I, I hear you. I do hear you. But honestly, guys, this is my baby. This is the truck that I bought my grandfather. And I know it's a gas, it's a half ton, but this truck means the world to me. And to be quite honest, my wife's got a third gen 5.9 Cummins crew cab. You know, I've got this truck. We've got this as a daily runner for the kids when we got to take the kids around with us. It's just one of the things where like, I, like, I love the idea of just like stacking up cool trucks and just keeping all these cool things. But to be honest, guys, it's just not, it's not practical. And I know not all things have to be practical to keep something, but in my personal position in life with my, my own goals and stuff like that, we've got some pretty substantial goals that me and Reagan have set financially, you know, with different investments and other stuff. So for us, it doesn't really make sense, you know, to buy that truck for the second time and then keep it. It just makes a whole lot more sense for us to buy it rebuild it, use it as another giveaway, because that is how we run our business. I know there's gonna be some of you that are like, hey, I wish you'd keep the truck, but there's gonna be a whole lot more of you that are like, hopefully I win that truck, because it's freaking sick. So anyways, guys, thanks so much for all the love and all the support. Remember, tonight at midnight, dual entry goes live. This is a chance. If you did not win Nasty Red the first time, I know Roger said he's gonna be trying to enter again just in case he happens to get so lucky to get drawn another time. Take your chance. If you wanted to win this truck before, you're definitely gonna to wanna to enter to win it now. And this thing, I mean, this, this is, I don't know if we'll be able to buy it back a third time, okay? So, you know, if you wanna get in on it, I don't know if we'll have another chance at this thing down the road. Uh, because you know it just worked out to where Roger he's just such a nice guy such an honest guy and like when he said he'd give me first call he actually did we have had so many winners love them all but almost every single one that we've said hey if you ever decide you want to sell this truck if if it was a truck we were really fond of and the fans really liked you know you know give us a call and we might want to buy it back and it has been actually very rare I don't think I've had any other fan actually message us back and offer to sell us back one of the trucks that they won almost all of them just like listed them on Marketplace and tried to get as much as they could for it and just kind of, you know, I get it, I get it, I totally understand. But Roger said, you'll be the first person I call. And I was the first person he called. So I appreciate it, Roger. Thank you so much to everybody else. Good luck. This could be your chance to own that truck plus $5,000 in cash. And not only that, but you'll be getting entered for the Dooley and Nasty Red if you order between tonight at midnight and this Sunday. Take your chance. Peace.